Guys, I'm finally doing it. I'm doing it. I finally get to talk about Electimus London fragrances. I got to sample all of their fragrances recently. Okay, not all. I was missing one as I sampled them all from the entire collection in samples. And I selected five of my favorite fragrances from this house. And that's what I'm doing today. I'm doing a top five Electimus London fragrances video for you guys. And we have a giveaway of the entire samples of the entire collection of fragrances for one subscriber of this channel from the USA, Canada, EU or UK. So find out about Electimus London fragrances coming right up. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian. Yes, today I'm talking about Electimus London fragrances. I did get to sample every single one of them except one. I was missing one sample, but the samples were sent to me and they come like this. Very, very nice presentation and the fragrances uh, samples are like this and there's an explanation of the fragrances and notes and things like that. So they're very, very nicely presented as a collection and you're gonna have a chance at winning these samples as well. But I ended up going through every single thing. That's the group of my favorites right there. I put them aside and then I did put uh, the three I did not care for at all. Like I didn't even like these fragrances. I put them aside and I also organized it in a way where I like these but I wouldn't rush out, rush out to get them. And then if I was to pick more, I would pick more from this collection of uh, fragrances. So I did not get to sample all of them, as I said, but I did get to sample all 19. And there's some really, really great fragrances here. Really, really intense, potent uh, types of fragrances. Beast mode is the word I could use to explain these fragrances. Very, very long lasting because all Electimus London fragrances are pure parfum. Excite the parfum concentration, meaning higher concentration of perfume oils. And what's going to happen with those? They're going to uh, last a long time. You know, some of the fragrances are not as beastly as others, even though the concentration is the same. And that's because it depends on the notes and, you know, the, the notes they use in, in the fragrance. So some do scream a lot louder and some don't. And in fact, in my list, my number one is a really, really great smelling fragrance, but in comparison to number two, numbers two, number two is a screamer, like really, really loud. But number one, and I love the smell of number one, that's why it's at number one, it's a little more subdued, but still very, very long lasting. So I'm gonna tell you about all these fragrances. Let me tell you what I got to sample. So I got to sample Amber Aquilaria, Fortuna, Black Caviar, Salmonus, Aurora, Puritus, Patchouli of the Underworld, Oster, Imperium, Capua, Mercurial Cashmere, Jupiter, Sylvanus, Celestial, Persephone's Patchouli, Octavian, Vixere, Rodant, Trajan, or Trahan. And sadly, I did not get to sample Alcoot. If any of you knows Alcoot, let me know what it is or what it smells like, because I don't know what it's all about. But yes, I got to sample every single one of these. If you are a fan of this house, let me know what your favorites are. Uh, put a comment down. But uh, before I get to talk about the five fragrances in the top five list, if this is your first time tuning into this channel and you haven't subscribed, please click the subscribe button below and also click the bell so that you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. So we're gonna start things off with number five. And as I said, I selected five. These are really, really intense fragrances. And some of them did remind me of other things. Uh, and you know, it doesn't make, uh, it doesn't mean that I'm not going to enjoy them, but they have uh, variations on what I, you know, the other fragrances that, that it reminded me of, especially number five. I selected it because I like this intensity and overwhelming ambergris kind of ambroxan vibe. So at number five, it's Trajan, this one right here. So if you don't know these bottles, they are really, really intense bottles, very, very heavy. They're very, very heavy, but you know what? They are held nice. Like they fit into my uh, my hand and I can hold them really nicely, but they're very, very heavy duty bottles, really heavy glass. And the caps are also very, very heavy. Uh, and as you can see, the caps have these beautiful uh, design work and they're different colored bottles too. But Trahan or Trajan is created by Marco Genovese and it features notes of saffron, blood orange, ambergris, mandarin orange, lavender, sage, oak moss, cedar, lemons, and bergamot. So what I liked about this is that it reminds me of those popular Baccarat Rouge type of fragrances, yes. That is a style I was not really into at one point when it first launched that fragrance. I just didn't care for it, but it I've circled back to it and really am enjoying this kind of style. So 
This is a very, very citrusy start. Very sparkling, very, very effervescent, loads of citruses, but also it settles to kind of a leathery experience. And that saffron in this particular fragrance in Trajan is very, very key here. The idea of saffron kind of developing and becoming a little leathery, but it's all very, very sparkly, juicy citruses, very, very juicy. So I felt like this is a very, like a fragrance that you can wear all year round. Like it's an all season fragrance because of the citruses. It's got this refreshing, sparkling, effervescence up top, but eventually becomes kind of ambery and leathery in the dry down. But that's why I feel like it's a uh, all season can pull it off every single day of the year. In fact, I feel like this will kind of come alive and heat and things like that. So I quite like this. Why did I select this as one of my favorite fragrances when I could have picked something totally original? I just really like this kind of a musky ambroxany kind of ambergris citrus sa saffron leather kind of a combo. And this is really, really potent, extremely, extremely potent. And a little goes along long way. Unless you like your fragrances really intense and oversprayed, go for it. But when you spray this stuff on, people are going to really, really notice how strong it is. And they'll either compliment you with uh, your fragrance. But I should say the compliments with this should be fairly positive because when I wear Baccarat Rouge, I do get uh, asked what I'm wearing because that um, fragrance has become uh, such a popular smell uh, that people... Um, you know, react uh, posit positively to it. And I'm not saying this is identical to that fragrance, it just reminds me of it. But this one, in comparison to the other, this one has lots of citruses. So you'll definitely notice the citrusy touches here, which is the reason why I think this is all season and can be perfect in the summertime. It's a really, really great fragrance. Uh, if you like Ambrox and Ambergris musky kind of uh, fragrances, definitely check out Try. Trajan, Trahan, and that's at number five. So at number four, I'm going with Rodant, this one right here. So this one also had some familiarity with it, but it goes in a different direction. This is created by Sofia Bardelli, and what I should say is I picked one fragrance at number five, created by Marco Genovese, but the rest of the fragrances, two of them are created by Sofia Bardelli, and then the other two are created by Christian Provenzano. And it's interesting that I've ended up with fragrances by those two perfumers and two of each. But Rodin is a beautiful spicy rose fragrance with rose, oud, raspberry, saffron, pink pepper, patchouli, amber, cedar, cloves, violets, black tea, musk, vanilla, pear, lemons. So this particular fragrance does hint at something like Portrait of Lady from the house of Frederick Mall, but it kind of stops there. For me, I've always thought that Portrait of Lady and uh, something like the Knight from Frederick Mall, uh, they're kind of like related. Here, it's kind of like the two together. Although it doesn't get as animalic as the Knight from Frederick Mall, the Oud is a little more westernized kind of an Oud and it's a Oudy Woody kind of an experience. But I like that combination of the Oud wood in this particular fragrance and the kind of spicy, rosy, patchouli, uh, you know, peppery uh, amber experience with this one. And again, once again, this is a very, very long lasting fragrance, extremely long lasting. So a little goes a long way. And as I was saying, these are pure perfume, extrait de parfum. So if you are into the idea of really, really long lasting fragrances, definitely check into this house. But the first two fragrances I'm talking about, five and four, are definitely really, really intense. Number three is a little subdued and I'll let you know why. Number two is really, really intense. And number one is also somewhat uh, subdued as well, but very, very long lasting fragrances. And it, a lot of these are really intense clouds. So if you like the idea of uh, sillage and uh, projection, you're gonna really be happy with this particular house. And I love the way this particular fragrance smells. It smells amazing. It's really, really one of those great signatures of a spicy rose with some fruit and of course there's uh, definitely the idea of uh, uh, the oud and wood in here as well. It's really a phenomenal fragrance. And as I was saying, I went through and smelled everything. I wore everything and I tested. I didn't really care for three of them. I really didn't. I put them aside. I will never talk about those fragrances. Uh, and then these are the ones that I thought were okay. Maybe I'll circle back to them and see if I've changed my mind. This batch again is... Uh, 
pretty decent. If uh, I wanted to get anything else after the five I'm talking about today, I would move on to those. But then I settled two of the five that I'm talking about today, and I think these are some of the best from this house. At least to me they are. Your opinion is going to be probably different, but I really like the way these uh, fragrances are. And if you like my taste, you're going to probably like these fragrances as well. So, Rodant at number four. It's really, really great, guys. It smells really, really great, and it's also very, very long-lasting. So, Marco Genovese at number five. Sofia Bardelli at number four and three. And Christian Provenzano at number two and one. Maybe I really like Christian Provenzano's fragrances. I mean, I seem to like his fragrances. But number three is Vixer. This one right here. So this to me is a little subdued, okay? I I'm saying it's like not as big as the first two and definitely not as big as number two. Number two is so overwhelmingly intense, uh, I'm going to tell you why. But this particular one is not as big. It's not as big of a cloud. It's a little subdued, but still very, very long lasting. This is Vixera, as I said, and it features notes of musk, orange blossom, heliotrope, ylang ylang, violets, iris, sandalwood, jasmine, gardenia, grapefruit, patchouli, tonka beans. What do you think that smells like? So to me, it's kind of like a floral explosion, musky, powdery floral explosion, but all the notes mixed together does kind of remind me of the beach as well, like a tropical floral beach setting. Not fully going to the beach, but you know, kind of like dabbling in it a little bit. So it doesn't get marine, it doesn't really go full on beachy, but something in the notes kind of plays like it is somewhat of a beachy experience, but very, very musky and very, very tropical. That heliotrope note in, uh, in Vixair has that light almondy touch, but that creates a very, very powdery experience along with the violets and iris, so it's a very powdery experience. You definitely pick up the orange blossom in here, it's really present, and I feel like this, because it's beachiness a little bit, and also this kind of very, very intense floral touch, perfect in the heat, I think. This will come alive in the heat, even though, like I said, it's an intense fragrance. It's a little subdued. It doesn't have as big of a projection as the last two, at least not for me when I was testing it. But to me, this is going to smell great because uh, with that heat out there in the summertime, it'll kind of have this kind of like humid, floral, tropical kind of thing kind of really amped up and uh, smelling really, really great. I think this is a solid, solid release. And the fact that I chose two fragrances from Sofia Bardelli, and I don't even know who the perfumer is. I'm curious to find out what else she's done. I think she's done several fragrances for this house. As I was testing the fragrances, I did see uh, you know, her name come up uh, more frequently or more uh, other times as well as what, what I should say. But this is uh, definitely a really, really great fragrance uh, from this house. And if you like the idea of a powdery, floral, lightly beachy, tropical kind of an experience, definitely try Vixair from the House of Electromus London. Um, and you will notice that I selected fragrances that are like not all very similar styles, but uh, definitely, really, to my taste, these are definitely fragrances that I really, really enjoy and I love wearing. Uh, okay, this is Electomus London Vixair, that's number three. Okay, moving on to the last two fragrances, number two and number one are both created by Christian Provenzano, and number two is the most beast mode in this collection of fragrances in the top five. It's so overwhelming. One spray and you're done with this particular fragrance. It's also animalic. You definitely experience animalic touches here. If you don't like animalics, you might want to stay away from this one if you enjoy it. I enjoy it to an extent and this is totally bearable for me. Uh, it depends on the type of animalics. This is an Udi animalic. They're not using like civet or they're not using, you know, hyracium or hyrax or castorium or ambergris. I'm talking about Octavian, as I said, and created by Christian Provenzano. It features notes of oud, taif rose, attar of roses, saffron, pink pepper, olibanum, and amber. This is a delicious oud rose combo. Really, really delicious and overwhelming. And this one actually goes animalic, as I said. So if you like the idea of oud and rose fragrance, something like Christian Dior's Oud Espahan, you must get your nose on Octavian because Octavian is so intense. Put next to Dior's Oud Espahan, you'll be like, where's the smell of this fragrance? Because the thing I noticed with these fragrances are when you spray Octavian, all these other fragrances are not going to smell as much because this is so potent. It is extremely potent. Your nose is going to be so used to the smell of this, not going to smell anything else. So 
test them out separately. That's, a, that's something you should definitely know about. But like if you compare this side by side with something like Dior's Oud Ispahan, if you spray this first, you're not gonna smell that one. So spray the other first, then come back to this. But this is a great, great fragrance, a great representation of Oud and Rose, very Middle Eastern style, very animalic, but you know, as I said, I'm toler it's tolerable for me. I really can tolerate this one and I love the combination of all the notes working together. There's definitely a leathery uh, dry down as well. And there's some resinous uh, smoky touches from the Olibanum note, but it's lots of roses and they, they claim that it's a Taif rose and also they have uh, a tar of roses according to the Electimus London uh, website. So uh, the notes were taken directly off of their website and then lots of ro uh, oud here as well. So Octavian is number two. Finally, last but not least, it's Persephone's Patchouli, another fragrance created by Christian Provenzano. And as I was saying, I put this one here because I really love the way this smells. It smells amazing. Love, 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 love it. But to me, Persephone's Patchouli is a little subdued compared to Octavian. Octavian is just overwhelming. Like I said, if you're going to smell anything before that smell it, then come back to Octavian because Octavian is going to really, really... Uh, get your nose uh, used to Octavian, then nothing nothing else, you, you'll, you won't smell anything else. But this is a, such a delicious patchouli fragrance. I fell in love with it with the instant spray. They have two patchouli fragrances that they launched. I prefer this particular one and I think there are fans of the other one. And I'm not too familiar with that one as I was testing them side by side from the samples. This one really jumped out at me as far as a unique kind of a smell. But Persephone's patchouli features notes of patchouli, honey, cardamom, rose, sandalwood, cedar, ambergris, plums, jasmine and pomegranate so yes there's a little fruitiness there it's not overwhelming fruitiness there's definitely a honeyed experience and honey and patchouli together uh, great recently I was talking about a fragrance that I have been uh, featuring in a few videos that featured patchouli and caramel together and the patchouli in that fragrance was the green kind of patchouli this to me there's a cleanness about it. It's not very earthy and the dirtiness is kind of gone. So I think that's what I like about this one because I'm so used to that earthy patchouli experience with that chocolate cakiness uh, that uh, I have plenty uh, in that variety. This one kind of was a breath of fresh air as far as patchouli goes. It's a little green. Uh, hey, it's a green bottle. There's a little green touch with this one, but it's more of like a clean polished kind of a patchouli. And then they've added that honey to kind of syrupy, uh, uh, you know, syrupy kind of sweet experience and contrasted with cardamom and rose. And of course it has a smooth, creamy uh, dry down with the sandalwood. It does get a lightly animalic, but uh, not overwhelming with the ambergris. And then of course uh, the fruitiness comes in as well together. It's a great, you know, concoction. Uh, all the notes are working perfectly together and I love the way this one smells. I love, love the, the way it uh, smells totally. And I like patchouli. Actually, I shouldn't say I like, I love patchouli. And I think they've done a great job with Persephone's patchouli. And once again, I'll say this one is a little subdued, a little subdued compared to Octavian. Uh, they're both beasts, but Octavian is the big, bad, hairy beast. <laughs> really, really intense. Uh, Persephone's does have that little subdued quality that sometimes, sometimes when you're wearing beast mode fragrances, they can become overwhelming. So I like this one's a little more relaxed, a little more subdued. So my number one favorite from this house now is Persephone's Patchouli. And again, I haven't tried Alkut. Uh, let me know if you're a fan of uh, Alkut. I didn't put down prices for these fragrances, but you can go to their website. I have a link in the info box. Go find out what the prices are and everything. And there's a page there that will also tell you where uh, the, the stores are that sell this brand uh, and everything else. So moving on to the giveaway, as I said, you're going to receive samples like this. Uh, I'm hoping that they will include Alcoot as well. So you'll get 20 samples. One subscriber of this channel, 20 uh, samples of the entire collection. That way you can sample everything and see what works for you. That's what I did. And I really fell in love with that five of uh, the, the five of them. Of course, I have more favorites here, but the five w totally won out. Uh, maybe you'll figure out what your favorite is from all the samples. But what you have to do is put a comment down. Let me know which fragrance in my top five sounds the best to you. Also, let me know what you liked about this video and please put down your state if you are in the USA. 
along with USA. And then if you are in the other countries or Europe or EU or whatever, please put down your country and make sure you're subscribed to the channel. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching today's video. I do want to find out if you are fans of this house, which is your favorite? Do you experience the intensity of these fragrances? Are they as long lasting to you as um, some of the ones I've explained to you? Let me know, put comment down. To me, they are. They're really, really big fragrances. Really, you need to be really into fragrances and for fragrances to like really last a long time on you to enjoy these ones. If you're into skin scents and things like that, these are definitely not skin scents whatsoever. Even the subdued ones are really, really intense experiences. I'm just saying they're subdued next to the other fragrances here. Anyway, so put some comments down so I can find out. Other than that, guys, thanks so much for watching today's video. If you have any questions or comments, please do list below. Please like this video. Please share it. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye.